Hello, so in this video I'll show you how to add the message of the day section to your game and some values that can be manipulated directly from the server. So here I have a main menu of my game that I've created in a different video and I'd like to add a simple message of the day section that could be changed without the need to update the whole game. As you can see, I've already prepared a simple UI with the text that can be changed. So jump in into the PlayFab dashboard, click on Content, then New Title Data. Here we can see a simple key and value pairs that will store our data. Let's click on this Add option and for the key type Message and for value let's go with Welcome to Jumping John. Press Save. Great, so now to implement this into our game we need to open our PlayFab Manager script. Here create two new methods. Type void get title data. Open brackets. And the second one void on title data received. And get title data result result. Open brackets. So in the first one, I'll create a new request. Type PlayFab client API dot get title data and pass as the parameters new get title data request on title data received method and as always on error. Now look at this callback method. Here we'll process received data. First check if we received our message key. Type if result.data equals null or result.data that contains key message equals false. Open bracket. And here type what should happen if data hasn't been received. In my case, I'll type debug.log with no message text. And of course, return to stop executing this method further. Then let's move on to handling received data. As you can see, I have here a message text variable that is connected to the text in the main menu. To change it, simply type message text dot text equals result dot data and in square brackets type message. Great. To finish things up, we need to call this method after successful login. In previous videos, I've created that onLoginSuccess method, so open it and at the very end add getTitleData. Save our file, go back to the Unity and run the game. After a second, we should see an updated message of the day. To show you that everything is live here, I'll stop the game go back to the PlayFab dashboard and click on that small edit button to change our message. This time we'll change the value to different text and of course we'll click save. Now when we'll go back to the Unity to start our game again you can see that the text has been updated. Please take a note that changing title data can take up to 15 minutes so if your text hasn't been changed please wait a few more minutes. Next, we'll change some game mechanics using title data. When I open a game scene, play it a bit and lose, you'll see a score counter. I get one point for each platform multiplied by one. So let's say you like to introduce some kind of event that triples the score for the next 24 hours. Of course, deploying an update for such simple change doesn't sound like a good idea but updating game scoring using PlayFab title data surely is the way to do it. In PlayFab dashboard, I'll click edit button once more and I'll add a new key called multiplier. And as I said before, in this example, I'll type in three as a value. Save it and go back to our script. The good thing is that our get title data already gets all keys and we only need to check if our result contains all of them. In our if add or 
result dot data dot contains key multiplier equals false and then if everything is received correctly change your variable in my case i'll type game controller dot multiplier equals result dot data multiplier because our result value is stored as a string we need to convert it to suit our variable simply before the result type int dot parse it will convert string to int also to make sure that everything is saved correctly i'll type debug dot log changed multiplier that should be all now save your script and go back to the unity run the game score a few platforms and finally on the game over screen we'll see our newly set multiplier and that's it for this video be sure to subscribe if you like to be notified about any future playfab and new tui videos also, don't forget to like the video if you like to see more such tutorials. See you in the next video.